What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Friday, July 15th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a 13 game slate tonight. And wow, this is a good one. We've got some fantastic pitchers and some really good batters in great spots. We got some good studs, home run hitters in value plays. This is an amazing slate, so let's get into it at the pitcher position. So there's a handful of studs that I like here, or there's four studs that stick out to me. I like Robbie Ray, Clayton Kershaw, Brandon Woodruff, and Alec Manoa. So let's go over Robbie Ray. He's pitching against the Texas Rangers and Robbie Ray is only giving up a .579 OPS versus lefties and a .698 OPS versus righties and a .624 OPS versus switch hitters. He's facing three lefties, four righties, and two switch hitters. Now, I like this pick because the Rangers have only hit 12 of his last 70 pitches. That's a 171 batting average and a pretty big sample size. Robbie Ray is 10,700 FanDuel salary, 900 less on DraftKings, averaging 36 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 37, 63, and 49 fantasy points in the last three games. He has an ERA of 3.51, record is 7-6, and six, pitching an average of 95 pitches per game, so I like Robbie Ray here versus the Texas Rangers. Now let's go over Clayton Kershaw real quick. He's pitching against a low salary batting team, the Los Angeles Angels. Clayton Kershaw pitches well to all hands, averaging about a .600 OPS to all hands. He's facing two lefties, six righties, one switch hitter. But I like this pick because the Angels have only hit six of his last 42 pitches. He's 10,100 FanDuel salary, 700 less on DraftKings. Oh, that was an average of a 143 batting average here uh, that the Angels have versus Clayton Kershaw. So very good pitcher versus batter matchup. And Clayton Kershaw has averaged 37 fantasy points per game on the season. Now he scored 60 and 49 fantasy points in his last two games. He's averaging two, uh, sorry, he has an ERA of 2.4. His record is six and two, pitching an average of 83 pitches per game. So I like Clayton Kershaw here versus the Los Angeles Angels. So those were a couple studs that I like out of those four names that I gave you to start. But if you're looking for a value play here at the pitcher position, so you can stack your bats, because there are a lot of bats that are in good spots here tonight. Take a look at Madison Bumgardner. He's got a nice pitching advantage here over a low salary batting team, the San Diego Padres. Madison Bumgardner, uh, he's giving up a .699 OPS versus lefties and a .762 OPS versus righties. Now he's facing four lefties and five righties. He does pitch his worst ball versus switch hitters, not facing any switch hitters here tonight. The Padres have hit 28 of his last 114 pitches. That's a 246 batting average and a huge sample size. So I like this pick because Madison Bumgarner, only 7,800 FanDuel salary, and he's 1,100 less on DraftKings, averaging 23 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 40. 24 and 24 fantasy points in his last three games has an era of 3.65 and his record is five and eight pitching an average of 88 pitches per game 
And Vegas thinks this is going to be a low scoring game. Only 7.5 runs scored in this game. That's their over under. So I like Madison Bumgarner as a value play here versus the San Diego Padres. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. I have to say one of my favorite plays on the slate is Travis Denard. He's got a 41% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Patrick Corbin. Travis Denard batting 22% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .886 OPS versus lefties. Patrick Corbin, he pitches his worst ball versus righty batters, 20% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .901 OPS versus righties. And Travis Denard is six for 16 versus Corbin. That's a 375 batting average, pretty big sample size. Now all those hits were singles, but I love the track record there. And I also like this pick because Travis Denard, only 3,100 FanDuel salary. He's 1,600 more on DraftKings, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 262. So I like Travis Denard here versus Patrick Corbin. Now guys, I've got a ton of picks for you here on this slate. I'm just gonna give you a handful of these picks at the batter positions, uh, one or two for each position. But if you do wanna see every single player that I like on the slate here tonight, you can just go ahead, sign up for that 30-day uh, trial for Draft Dashboard. And let me just show you, when you get into Draft Dashboard, uh, your dashboard will load up here and then go to the MLB cheat sheet. I'll give you a quick sneak peek right here. These are all the players that I like on tonight's slate and that list will change throughout the day as, you know, baseball, not too much injury news, but if the pitchers change or once we get announcements of other pitchers on the slate, that MLB cheat sheet is updated with our favorite picks, makes it super easy just to jump in there you can watch the players that you like or that you can watch the players on the cheat sheet and then or add them to your player pool and then you go to the lineup optimizer and the lineup optimizer will use players from that cheat sheet so that's super handy so let's get back into this slate here at the second base position here's a value play probably one of my favorite value plays on the slate but there are a ton of good picks that i like here tonight uh, I like Jonathan India with a 41% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Andre Pallante. Jonathan India, he's batting 12% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .739 OPS versus righties. Andre Pallante, he's pitching 28% worse to righties as he does lefties, giving up a .795 OPS versus righties. Now there's no at-bats versus Polante yet. Jonathan India, only 2,700 FanDuel salary, 500 more on DraftKings, averaging eight fantasy points per game on the season. And I like this pick because he's been on fire scoring uh, fantasy points in all five of his last games. In his last four games, he scored 12, 15, 22, and 22 fantasy points. Now, he only has a batting average of 230, but he's on a hot streak and he's got a good matchup at low salary. So I like Jonathan India as a value play here versus Andre Pallante. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. This position is stacked with studs, a couple of home run hitters, or a few home run hitters here. We got Austin Riley, Jose Ramirez, Nolan Arenado, those are three studs that I like on the slate. Let's go over Austin Riley. He's got a 20% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Patrick Corbin. Austin Riley, 
He's batting a .902 OPS versus lefty pitchers. Patrick Corbin pitching his worst ball versus righty batters. 20% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .901 OPS versus righties. Now, I like this pick because Austin Riley is 7 for 24. It's a 292 batting average and a .912 OPS versus Corbin. He's 4,300 FanDuel salary, 1,200 more on DraftKings, averaging 12 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. He has a batting average of 284. So I like Austin Riley here versus Patrick Corbin. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. And take a look at Jose Ramirez. He's four for eight here versus Hutchinson with a 1.625 OPS. He's got a great matchup here. He's 4,100 FanDuel salary, 1,300 more on DraftKings, averaging 14 fantasy points per game on the season. Scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. Has a batting average of 285. So I like Jose Ramirez here versus Drew Hutchinson. So let's take a look at the shortstop position. Okay, I've said this a couple times, but I think this is my favorite play on the slate. I like Xander Bogarts. He's got a 42% batting advantage over Jordan Montgomery. Xander Bogarts batting 8% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .925 OPS versus lefties. And Jordan Montgomery, he's pitching 35% worse to righties as he does lefties, giving up a .656 OPS versus righties. But the reason that I like this pick is because Xander Bogarts is 15 for 31. That's a 484 batting average with a huge sample size that's a 1.063 ops versus montgomery now most of those hits are singles he's got a couple doubles in there but it's hard to pass up a guy that's batting a 484 batting average over 31 at bats that is fantastic so xander bogart's only 3400 fanduel salary 1400 more on DraftKings. Averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. Uh, nothing under a 12. And he's got a batting average of 317. So I think that makes him one of the best plays on the slate. So I like Xander Bogarts here versus Jordan Montgomery. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. Another home run hitter that's in a great spot here is Mookie Betts. He's got a 35% batting advantage over Patrick Sandoval. Mookie Betts batting a .907 OPS versus lefties. Patrick Sandoval giving up a .704 OPS versus righties. And Mookie Betts is 3 for 6 here versus Sandoval with a 1.625 OPS. One of those hits is for a home run. He's 4,100 FanDuel salary, 2,100 more on DraftKings, averaging 14 fantasy points per game on the season. And he scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. He has a batting average of 269. So I like Mookie Betts here versus Patrick Sandoval. Oh, George Springer in a fantastic spot. There's just so many juicy plays on this slate. George Springer here, he's got a 26% batting advantage over the low salary pitcher, Zach Greinke. George Springer batting a .87, uh, sorry, a .837 OPS versus righties. Zach Greinke pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, 21% worse than his other pitches, 
giving up a .805 OPS versus righties. And I like this pick because George Springer is 6 for 11. It's a 545 batting average and a 1.401 OPS versus Grinky. One of those six hits is for a home run. He's 3,900 FanDuel salary, 1,200 more on DraftKings, averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. He has a batting average of 247. So I like George Springer here versus Zach Grinke. Okay, now if you're looking for a value play who's in a great spot here tonight, take a look at Adam Duvall. He's got a 22% batting advantage over the low salary pitcher, Patrick Corbin. Adam Duvall batting a .732 OPS versus lefties. Patrick Corbin pitching his worst ball versus righty batters giving up a .901 OPS versus righties. And Adam Duvall is 11 for 32. That's a 344 batting average with a 1.009 OPS versus Corbin. Two of those hits are home runs. He's got four doubles in there. He's only 2,600 FanDuel salary, 800 more on DraftKings, averaging eight fantasy points per game on the season. Now, he has a batting average of 204, but his salary is low, and he has a fantastic batter versus pitcher matchup. So I like Adam Duvall here versus Patrick Corbin. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video, or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.